Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the top five reasons why you should own a Volkswagen Beetle. Now guys, I have a generalized list here, five things that I think are great reasons why you should own a Volkswagen Bug. They're in no particular order and uh, basically came off the top of my head. It's a generalized list. It's, I'm not going into crazy amounts of detail with year changes and things like that. Um, I get emails from people all the time through my social networking platform on my YouTube channel or straight to email asking me why should I own a bug and uh, I basically give these generalized uh, plot points so to speak. Uh, if you want to add to this list uh, leave it in the comment section below we'd love to hear your thoughts. So let's get to it. Let's start off with number five. Uh, number five, great entry level car. So if you're looking to jump into the classic car uh, uh, hobby uh, for the first time. I think the Bug is probably one of the better cars you can look into. And I think because uh, it's the general following that it has, the camaraderie surrounding the community of Volkswagen people that are out there is vast. And the online community is spectacular. So if you ever need to reach out to someone for help, like either my channel or you have the, uh, the Samba, or you have um, just even go into a Google search, you know, there are so many websites out there. There's Facebook pages, Facebook groups uh, that you can chime into to help you out. And you're going to get multiple opinions, of course, and, but in a, in a good way. You know, I mean, you, you could take this and compare and contrast things. And uh, it's a great car to jump into. Parts are readily available. And you don't have to break the bank. Uh, it, it's something that, um, you know, you, you can still pick up a decent car under $10,000. Uh, it might be a late 60s or early 70s car. That's a you know a nice driver quality condition. You might still need to tinker with it, but that's the fun part of it. Uh, it is a it's a great car to jump into on an entry level platform. So uh, that's number five. Number four is they're fun as hell, right? Um, this kind of morphs into the entry level position. So. You know, that's the great thing about it. There's simplicity behind this car. And when you look at a Beetle, of course, you know, just looking at the car makes you smile, you know, because it's just the shape of it. It's very friendly looking. Um, and it's something that you can sit in. You literally go back in time. It's like a time machine. And you see the simplicity of the dashboard and the way the, gate, the, the, the car is set up, steering wise, clutch, brake, e-brake shifter it's very basic motors in the back it's basically you know almost a glorified go-kart in a way right you got the motor in the back you got four wheels on a chassis and then boom you got a few seats and you're strolling down uh, the road and it's got that Tweety Bird sound and that, that classic sound to it um, you know we live in a time today where tech is is over running our lives and our our smartphones are so complex and even new cars today their dashes are so complex just to get into certain menus on the dashboard to turn a, a function on on your car uh, is very complex these days so when you sit in the Beetle the simplicity is just awesome so uh, I think that's another one that deserves to be on the list the simplicity of it so you don't have to be afraid to jump into something like this all right let's move on number three for the most part, they are easy to work on, right? I mean, back in the day, everyone always said there was, they were easy to work on, people dropping motors in 15 minutes and doing it on the side of the road and having a tire underneath the motor when they had to change the motor. It's just amazing what people said they used to do to fix these cars. You can use home tools to fix these cars. That's a, it's an amazing thing. I mean, if you have a few you know, uh, metric wrenches and sockets and ratchets, for, you can do a lot with these cars and that's the way it was designed you know it was made for you the home guy to be home and to use home tools to fix his car in his driveway it's very unheard of today to do that with new cars you have to go back to the dealership to have your car fixed uh, but the Volkswagen Beetle is uh, for the most part pretty pretty simple if you're handy uh, you know more power to you it's only going to be to your advantage uh, to, to do these things if you're not handy and you you need to learn certain things again the community online is fantastic you can watch my videos I have over 500 videos on YouTube of how to's so you can watch that and uh, get your car up and going very cool all right so now we're moving on to number two in the list it's an attention getter 
If you want attention, you want to generate some new friends, or you want to communicate with society a little bit more, damn, get a Volkswagen Beetle. So when you jump into a Beetle, you drive down the road, yeah, you're turning heads. People are giving you a thumbs up. People are smiling. If you break down on the side of the road, you know how many people like are willing to pull over and help you because it's a bug. If I had a new car today and I broke down, people drive right by me, you know, but with a Beetle, holy cow, you know, uh, if you're planning to go get gas, it's not a five minute thing. Plan an extra half hour or so because when you're at the gas pump, people are going to want to come over to you and chat. Nostalgia, history about the bug. I had one, my father had one, my friends had one, I had one, whatever it is. I used to sit in the back seat, behind the back seat when it was, you know, before it was illegal. Uh, just, just amazing history with these cars. People have been all over the world with them. It was an international car. It touched so many hearts. Uh, it's gone to the 60s revolution. So it was known as that expendable vehicle that people can knock around in and sell. And uh, it just brings back a lot of memories. So, um, you know, when you go out with this car, you're going to get a lot of attention. So just be prepared to communicate with people. And um, for the most part, everybody's very friendly with it all. So how could you not? Look at it. <laughs> so, and the number one reason why you should own a Volkswagen Beetle, uh, like my good friend Lucky Larry always says, it's money in the bank. So when you buy one of these cars, it's... Um, something that's collectible, it's vintage, and they're only appreciating in value. You put your money in the bank, in a real bank, I mean, your interest is pretty sad. It doesn't grow very much. Uh, but when you throw your money into a Volkswagen or something or any or other type of collectible car, uh, you wait a few years and sure enough, you're, you're gaining uh, a value on it. Um, as long as you stay true to the car, you don't bastardize it to the point where it's away from the original nostalgic look. Um, and that's the other thing I might want to add, like say a bonus to the number one uh, reason to own a bug is that um, it's, it's got a lot of creative elbow room, a beetle. I mean, you see beetles are the most, probably the most uh, modified car out there today uh, in, in the vintage car uh, arena. Um, and what's cool about that is that there's so many options that you can get for these cars today to modify them to your liking. Um, so, and, and what's nice about it is, is that it, it's not like it's a Duesenberg or a Corvette where people or buyers need it to be so precise uh, with uh, being original. I mean, yeah, you got your purists out there and more power to you. But in the end, you have some creative elbow room. We even, with my restorations, I give it a little creative elbow room with interior upgrade or color upgrade uh, and you can do that with a bug and it's you know you're free without really getting chastised about it so um, and it just appreciates in value which is really nice the bug has been on a steady uh, incline I mean there's a few dips through history here and there but uh, for the most part it's constantly going up and you, you got something of value you know uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing so all right guys that's my five reasons why you should own a bug. Uh, if you have any questions, email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. And we'd love to hear your thoughts, your comments, suggestions. And that's it. All right, take care. Uh -huh.